do you like about the role of Holly? What do I like about her? Um, I know she's, you said she's like you. She's but. like me, yeah. She's she's kind of she's quite feisty. She's very independent. I think that playing Holly um, has given me, as a person, a, a specific kind of backbone. Like I've learned from her in that way. Um, she's not overly sensitive. I think that I'm quite sensitive in, in you know when dealing with breakups and things like that. Um, and she's quite strong through the whole thing. So uh, yeah, I'm learning from her and I, I love that. So I appreciate her. Kathy, tell me about the part you play. I play Claire Castle. Pardon my, pardon my napkin. Claire Castle, she's Robert's mother. Robert, as you know, is a developmentally challenged adult. So Claire is a single mom and uh, pretty protective. But Robert's her be all and end all. She lives her life for Robert. And uh, she has a chronic, she has a serious illness uh, that she has to deal with because she has to think about Robert's future. So that's Claire's dilemma. Definitely one of my main concerns coming into the show was was I didn't want I didn't want it ever to come off as insincere, or to come off as a, a sort of parody or or, or a, car a caricature of someone living with this disability. So I think that through the rehearsal process of sort of trying different highs and different lows of that of of what Robert is dealing with um, in terms of a disability, I was able to I guess kind of sort of thread my way into that that very uh, narrow space I mean it, it's definitely it's definitely a fine line and and I feel like I've, I feel like I've done it I feel I hope that I've done it and you know every, most of the people that I've talked mm -hmm. to has have, have, have relayed back to me that they feel like it, it, it came across as, as sincere so I, I think I did my job I feel I'm quite proud of, of, of uh, Robert of what I've what I've been able to do with Robert with this character and, and what I've done with the show. So his mother is proud. Yeah, his mother is proud. Yeah. Mom. Uh, Mark Stevenson here, back for summer number two at the Playhouse, and this summer I'm also playing a doctor. This summer I'm Doctor Andrews. Why do they pick you as the doctor? I, I, good question, I have no idea. But if I had a nickel for everyone and said, you look like a doctor, you sound like a doctor, I'd have a lot of nickels. You should have, you should have been a doctor. Hey, <laughs> rather than an actor, what business do I have? <laughs> Sorry, I have a hard time. Not fair. She's taking your glory now. <laughs> look, that's why, that's why they hired Kathy, actually. To take to keep, your glory. To keep me in check, yes. Okay. True. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what's this part like for you? Um, it's a challenge because it's the character doesn't have a lot of stage time, so I have to communicate who I am and make the most of my dialogue. So it's it's actually probably in some ways more difficult than a larger part because you don't have a lot of time to establish who you are and to get your message out there. <clears throat> so you have to make sure that you're on. You're on, as soon as you're on, you're exactly. on. Exactly. My name's Mark Fraser, and as I said before, Simon Garvey, reporting for duty. Where did you get that accent? Did you really do it well? I, I got it from uh, a little garage sale that I saw happening on uh, the North River Road. <laughs> Is it hard to keep with that accent, like throughout the whole play? Uh, no, no. Nope. I just sort of, just sort of play with it, as you can tell. I take it deadly seriously. It's uh, it's just no mishmash of anything. So I don't think you'd be able to pinpoint where exactly I'm from. But seeing as I am a special agent, it's what's better for me that you don't know that information. The biggest thing that I did was I went to this place in Charlottetown called Queens County Residential Services, which is a group home for young for all adults living with um, intellectual disabilities on a vast spectrum of intellectual disabilities. 
And so uh, me and the director, Ted Price, we went out there and uh, we spent better part of a morning into the afternoon with a group of, of young, uh, about 15 young adults living with, with uh, yeah, living with this disability, this challenge. And so we, we kind of, we, we hung out with them, we spoke with them, we, we took it, they, they gave us a tour of where they lived and, and while we were taking part in all that, I, I kind of uh, was taking mental notes on, on a couple of the, a couple of the patients, a couple of their clients um, that, I, that I thought would fit well with, with how, how Robert is in terms of his like functionality, his functionality, is that a word, functionality? Mm -hmm. You're doing the crossword there, is that, that, would that fit? Let me just check, number 19, Fun yes. Functionality. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that was that was the ma that was the major catalyst to, to that that essentially changed the entire rehearsal process for me. So. What would you like to say to your fellow actors and all the crew? Um, thank you, thank you for absolutely everything. Um, changed my life, and I couldn't change your life. Absolutely. What do you mean? Well, I mean, again, this is my very first professional production, and to have a team who cares and who works together, and and not only are we castmates, but we're friends, and to make that connection in just a few couple, few short weeks is, you know, it's quite amazing. And I love you.